Good morning to you on this Tuesday 2nd of August 2022. My name is Reverend Jo Richards and I'm rector here in Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred's and St Peter's and lovely that you've joined us today in what we call ordinary time for morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praised and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made as we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep. Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm is Psalm 5. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth and their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God, let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy for ever. You will shelter them that, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Samuel, and it's chapter 10, and it's verses 17 through to the end. Samuel summoned the people to the Lord at Mitzvah and said to them, Thus says the Lord God, the God of Israel, I brought up Israel out of Egypt, and I rescued you from the hand of the Egyptians, and from the hand of all the kingdoms that were oppressing you. But today you have rejected your God, who saved you from all your calamities and your distresses, and you have said, No, but set a king over us. Now, therefore, present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes, and by your clans. Then Samuel brought all the tribes of Israel near, and the tribe of Benjamin was taken by Lot. He brought the tribe of Benjamin near by, his, by its families, and the family of the Matriots was taken by Lot. Finally, he brought the family of the Matriots near man by man, and Saul, the son of Kish, was taken by Lot. But when they sought him, he could not be found. So they acquired again of the Lord, did the man come here? And the Lord said, See, he has hidden himself among the baggage. Then they ran and brought him from there. When he took his stand among the people, he was heads and shoulders taller than any of them. Samuel said to all the people, Do you see the one whom the Lord has chosen? There is no one like him among all the people. And all the people shouted, Long live the king! Samuel told the people the rights and duties of the kingship, and he wrote them in a book and laid it out before the Lord. Then Samuel sent all the people back to their homes. Saul also went back to his home at Gilbeth, and with him went warriors whose hearts God had touched. But some were worthless fellows, said, How can this man save us? 
they despised him and brought him no present, but he held his peace. Now, Nahash, king of the Amorites, had been grievously oppressing the Kadites and the Reubenites. He would gouge out the right eye of each of them, and he would not grant Israel a deliverer. No one was left of the Israelites across the Jordans, whose right eye Nahash, king of the Amorites, had not gouged out. But there were 7,000 men who had escaped from the Ammonites and had entered Gabash-Gilead. And now for our canticle. Spirit of God teaches your ways that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, the God that may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Spirit of God teaches your ways that we may walk in the paths of peace. Our second reading this morning is from Luke and it's chapter 22 and it's verses 31 through to 38. Simon, Simon, listen. Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat, but I've prayed for you that your own faith may not fail. And you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. And he said to him, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you know me. He said to them, when I sent you out without a purse, bag or sandals, did you lack anything? They said, no, not a thing. He said to them, but now the one who has a purse must take it, and likewise a bag. And the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you this, scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless. And indeed, what is written about me is being fulfilled. They said, Lord, look, here are two swords. He replied, it is enough. And now for our responsory. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I, o Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. And now for the Benedictus. In your compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. So, loving God, as we come together this morning in worship, we give thanks for this day that lies ahead. We pray that you will be with us for any meetings that we may have, conversations, perhaps emails, Remaining ever mindful for those whom this day might be difficult, challenging, 
particularly those who are lonely, perhaps sitting just by a window watching people passing by. Whatever this day holds, Lord, we lift it to you, giving thanks for it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our, our world, particularly where there are places of conflict and persecution. We continue to hold in our hearts and minds the people of Ukraine, for those who are preparing to leave, for the women who are preparing to leave to find sanctuary. Remain in mind for the people that they are perhaps leaving behind. Husbands, fathers, brothers, uncles, friends. For those who may be burying loved ones today or mourning the loss of loved ones. Remain ever mindful of conflicts around the world. Continue to hold in our prayers the people of Sudan, Afghanistan, Yemen, and for peace in the Holy Land between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Lord, in a moment of quiet, we lift to you those places that are on our hearts and minds this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our church, particularly at this time the Lambeth Conference for the Anglican Communion, for those places, those talks will be taking place just up the road from here at the University of Kent. May they be fruitful discussions. May they be an opportunity for listening. An opportunity to hear the other voice. We pray for Justin, our Archbishop, for Rose, our Bishop. For Mark, our area dean, and for all those lay and ordained who minister across our benefice, across our deanery, across our diocese and beyond. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who have asked us this morning for prayer, for those who are on our benefice prayer list. For those who've asked us personally and those known to you only, O oh Lord, those we know at this time who are in hospital, perhaps receiving treatments, a diagnosis, awaiting surgery. For those who are being nursed at home. For those just down the road at the hospice. We pray for them and for all those who love and care for them the doctors and nurses supporting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, for those who are perhaps preparing for funerals at this time, and for those whose anniversary of death falls today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a moment of quiet, we lift to you perhaps a situation that's on our hearts and minds, people or circumstance, whatever it is, O oh Lord, we lift it to you now in a moment of quiet. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for today. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish with us all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
thank you as ever for joining us this morning and yes prayers for you all that you have a lovely day and do join us if you can at six for night prayer otherwise my colleague john will be back tomorrow morning at nine for morning prayer wherever you are this day have a lovely day god bless and see you soon bye for now bye